he was a fan of mine and my friend, and 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 then uh, I, I I got to work from later on in life. I I would always appear on the show as a guest. He always had me, and I taught him how to play vibes. So he uh, he could do the vibe do it, and how I started conducting for him. He asked me if I let me see. I was I did the Regis Filmin show, and then. I did another show called Operation Entertainment, and then uh, and then Steve called me and asked me if I wanted to go to Las Vegas as an act. Because what we do, I play at the end of the show. I would we would close the show. I play. I got rhythm. We I had an arrangement. Of I got rhythm. I play piano and two finger, and then then I play what's new, and then we do the vibe duet. Now the vibe duet, people used to scream. Because we walk out the stage door, they go, they say, "Mr. Allen, I never knew you played the vibes that good." And when they said that, I was a winner. I wasn't there to make them look bad. I was there to make them look good. I made up a thing with all that hand thing, and he learned it. So then, uh, when we go to Vegas, I, you know, he hired me as an act. I said, "Who's conducting the show, Steve?" He says, "I'm going to use the house band leader." I said, "You want me to conduct the show?" He says, I, "I'm not going to pay, can't pay you any more money, old Terry." I said, "I don't care." I don't want to sit around, you know. So I, I, I conducted his show, and then while we were doing the show, a few weeks in, he says, uh, came to me, he said, look, I'm starting a new TV show. You want to do that? And so from then on, that was it. Jazz. I think, uh, you won't believe how many, how many comedians played music. Sid Caesar was, Sid Caesar, I put out, Steve said it, Sid Caesar was the greatest skit comedian who ever lived. Ever, uh, I can't even mention how many guys I know play piano and this, you know, with jazz freaks. So, jazz is an improvisational art. Comedy also. That's right, but especially the old time comedians. The old time comedians, they would ad lib a lot of. They had little lines. They did a lot, but did a lot like Steve Allen. By the way, he he couldn't tell a joke. He used to make me tell jokes. He, everything came off the top of his head. He would ad lib on a scripted show. I got my hands up, ready to come in with the music because I'm looking. The next word is is the punchline, then music. All of a sudden, he's talking. There's no music. I got to know his sense, sense of composition of the thing, and uh, I never listen. And every time we do a new show with a new director, Ter he tells the director, "Listen, Terry doesn't take any cues from anybody," which puts me in terrible. Well, I'll tell you this one thing: we starting a new show. And his director was worked for Bob and Walters. He was like one of the high priced directors. And the directors run the whole thing. And the producer hires the director, dryer makes gets the camera he wants, hires the band, whatever, you know. But being I was Steve's guy, Steve hired me. So we go to the first meeting, everything is good there. We sit in the table with, with the comedy writers and figure out what what's gonna what 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 way we should shoot. And then uh, as we're leaving, Steve and I are going to leave together. We pass the director. And then Steve says, oh, by the way, uh, Russ, uh, Terry doesn't take any direction from anybody. And he walks away, leaves me. I said, wait, wait, let me explain something, Russ. He thinks I know his sense of humor. So you, you count me down. If there's anything, because you, you just count me down. Because I, I, I have, uh, you get an earphone, uh, earphone one that goes to the, to the booth, the other one to the stage. So uh, you just count me down. Now at rehearsal, even rehearsal with Louis Nye and Don, all these idiots, they never say the punchline. Steve thinks he's doing a Tonight Show where the band's on stage and he likes for the band and, and all the, the stagehands, everybody to laugh. So he never says the same thing twice. Uh, this is what you do in the Tonight Show. But this is a, 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 we got like written words here. <laughs> and it calls for this and it calls for that. But he doesn't care. So, it, 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 but he never do the punchline. He'd always end with, how's your fern? How's your bird? How's your Clyde? You know, and the director would be looking, what is this? How are you Clyde? I just, this director. So now comes the first show. And after having the trouble already figuring out what Steve was talking about half the time, the director was having trouble because he didn't have to call. He'd just say music, whatever, you know. And I'd come with music, rehearsal. Come to show and now comes the first comedy bit. It's an 11-minute bit with a bunch of cues, you know. 
And uh, about uh, 40, 50 seconds in is the first cue. And he says, Terry, music coming up. And, you know, and I've got my hand up. I'm watching the thing. And I know damn well that Steve's not going to say that line, because I wouldn't. Because I already heard that line, so I'm, I, I work like a jazz musician. I can't say the same thing twice. So I, I, I know he's not going to say it. And I said, 10, 9, 8, 2, 1, music. And I don't come in, in my, I got my hand, I don't come in at all. And of course, Steve is ad living. Steve's not saying the words, the punchline. He's, and, and, and all of a sudden, I hear this guy say, no, 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 no music. And he's screaming in my ear, no music. And then we went into, finally, I waited for Steve to get done. I came in with the cue on my own. And then about five, eight seconds later, I hear my voice like a little kid. Hey, Terry, you got it from here now. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> he, this guy's getting 20000 a show. He panicked. He really panicked, this guy. <laughs> Cause you have to work with Steve to know how he is. He can't, he can't do the same line twice. He just can't help it.